ओके टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस पी एल कमेंट्स इन स्प्लंग ओके सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर फ्रॉम माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई टॉक्ट अबाउट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कमेंट्स इन यूज इन एस पी एल राइट सो आई थॉट लाइक दिस विल बी ए गुड आइडिया टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कमेंट्स सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इंटरनली दे वर्क ओके सो दिस विल लीड अस टू सॉल्व सम ऑफ द performance issues we found in spls okay we will we will be taking better decisions when when we will be doing those performance stuff okay so for that what i have done is i created this mind map okay so now it 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 looks here i know so i'll try to explain this stuff in very simplistic way okay so we will start from one by one then we will move on okay so at last we will we will get some idea about custom commands as well okay because those are really important stuff in splunk now we'll start with this two guys okay so i'll just zoom in over here so overall the spl commands we can divide in terms of working okay in terms of their internal working as streaming and non streaming command okay so what is streaming command so if i just remember if we just remember this two pictures over here okay so in streaming command works in streaming mode that means whenever events are available they work on those events they output something or don't output something okay that means it operates on event by event wise okay now essentially one event in and one or no event out okay example of it is eval command right so when we apply eval command let's say in our result set we have first name and last name right and we want to concatenate this two stuff so we can write just eval the first name field name and dot the last name field name right so whenever this this first name and last name fields values are available in in events it, it just concatenates and give you the results over there right now contrary on the contrary non streaming commands it basically works on bunch of events so now it requires all the events to be available from all the indexers okay before it works so that means it works on bunch of event and it produces something okay now it forces the entire set of events to the search head so this is one important stuff you have to do you have to remember so because of this requirement so data and the data movement we lost parallelism as well okay example is the sort command it's a non streaming one okay now for streaming command there are two types of streaming command over there one is distributable streaming another is centralized streaming centralized streaming okay so if we just talk about these two guys they are almost similar because they both are streaming command with a very small difference over there okay now as it is streaming command it's always operates on each event right now here the order of events does not matter like just like eval fields make mv right here the order of events are not matter at all right now it can run on indexer based on certain condition now what what will be the condition if all the commands before this particular command are running on indexer can or can run on indexer the distributable streaming command will be running on indexer okay but if any of this command which is comes before this particular command has to run on search head then the this this distributable streaming command will not be running on indexer it has to run on search head okay that means when we are moving to search head we cannot move back to indexer again okay so that's the logic over here now it can be applied to subset of indexed data in a, in a, in a parallel manner okay now example as i already told eval fields make mv rex regex rename where these are all examples of distributable streaming command okay i'll be giving you the link of splunk documentation where you will find all the commands for all different categories over here okay now for 
centralized streaming command the main difference over here is the order of the event matters over here just like head right so if we if we just talk about let's say we, we run a search called index equals to underscore internal okay then sort by let's say underscore time and then head 10 let's we run it for last five minutes right so the result will be completely different if we sort by underscore time ascending or descending way right so in that way head is a centralized streaming command because the order of the event matters over here okay based on order of the events the output will be also, also be changing from this command okay even stream stats is also an centralized command and another difference is it only works on the search head over here okay so now we talked about two different kinds of streaming command distributed streaming and the centralized streaming over here right now let's move on to the non-streaming part of it okay so there are a lot of non-streaming command as well and the most important are the transforming command okay you may heard about this term lot of time when you when you read about Splunk in somewhere right so basically what this kind of commands are do so if we if we just talk in a very simplistic way the input of this commands are events right and the outputs are not events they are statistical tables or data tables right so now these commands have some specific purpose because it 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 basically creates those those data structure right the statistical tables so that it can be used by it, it so that the visualizations can use those data structure and render it properly that that's one of the purpose behind the transforming command okay it's definitely non streaming in nature okay so and the transforming command it transforms the specific cell value of each event into a numerical value so that the Splunk software can use for statistical purpose as well. So this is another aspect of the transforming command. The commands are like charts, time chart, stats, top, rear, right? So these are the transforming command. Now there is another kind of command called generating command. Now when we talk about different categories of command, right? And when we talk about different Splunk commands, a single command, a particular command can be a very various kinds. It is not like if a particular command is transforming, it cannot be any other kind, any other types. It's not like that. It, it, it whatever I'm trying to say is this, this commands types are not mutually exclusive. Okay. Now, when you talk about generating command, right? So till now whatever commands we talked about here all requires a search result before it right that means an input result set right now generating commands generally do not requires any input over there okay so they are basically used to generate events right just like data model pivot t stats right they can generate events so that's why generally these commands invoke at the beginning of the search generally they are the first command in the search okay now it fetches information from all the indexers without any transformations it can do that okay now the next category of command is called orchestrating command now this type of command generally do not transform the result set into something else okay for example you might apply an orchestrating command to a search to enable or disable the search optimization that helps the overall search complete faster okay so for example if i just say if you if you heard about lookup command right you can give an input over there called local equals to t over there right so what it does basically it allows the command to run on search head only okay so that means in some way it is not but the, but the output of this command without t and with t will be same it's just like where the command is running we are governing that so that means we are controlling some of the aspect of the search when it is processed okay so that's why this type of commands are called orchestrating command okay so like just like redistribute noop these kinds of commands are orchestrating maybe i'll be creating separate separate videos for all the commands in my channel so watch out for that one 
okay so now the next set of category is like data set processing command okay that's like sort event stats so this type of commands are non transforming not distributable not streaming and not orchestrating okay so it requires the entire data set before the commands can run okay and some of these commands fit into other types in specific situation when we, we we call this command using specific arguments okay that's why i have written like some of mode of ddop okay so ddop can sometimes run as a data set processing command based on its input even if we see i have mentioned ddop over here as well as a centralized streaming command okay as i as i was, as I was telling few minutes back a particular command can be both of the type so ddop is one of the example of it it can be a centralized streaming command as well as a data set processing command based on the input we are providing over there okay so hopefully the the divisions of this or different categories of the commands I'm, i was able to explain you properly okay now i just added this guy over here custom command so that it will be it will be full right so because in future videos we will be creating different custom command over here and i think this is the most exciting features of splunk available where you can write your own command over there now why why you need to do that because generally splunk out of the box command sometimes it happens that it does not suffice sufficient enough for your own purpose right in that way or on in that time you can write your own spl commands over there generally you will write we write with the python script right and how splunk knows it's a custom command there we have to create a commands.conf file okay and the stanza name will be the command name over there okay so so if i just if i just zoom this this diagram over here okay so we just try to understand the the processing of this custom command so whenever splunk parses the each line of the spl right and determined whether the search command is a custom or not so first thing it's do so whenever it finds a custom command okay how it knows it knows from the commands.conf file okay so when it when it found that custom command it runs the python script behind okay so then now now the based on the type of the custom command right this custom command can be a streaming command can be a generating command right can be a transforming command as well right so based on that it may requires an input as well right so if it is a streaming command it definitely requires a result set before that right so that means somehow splunk has to send this result set to this to, to this command right so it send send via std out so splunk write it in a standard output and the commands read that data from the standard input so this is how normal splunk communication works everywhere if you see with 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 external python scripts okay now after processing through that custom search command the search result re enter in the main search pipeline over there right and execute rest of the commands and it do the same stuff when it finds another custom command in the pipeline okay so this is this is the whole pipeline over there right now throughout this 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 process right whenever custom command runs so the splunk d always communicates with this custom search script using a series of get info and execute commands okay so this is happens something internally which we no need to do it on our own but it is really good to know because if you see a lot of times for custom command we receive error like get info prof failed for this particular custom command right so that means somewhere the command failed or some exception happened to that command because of that splunk d was not able to communicate with that command right it is not able to get the status of this command what it is so that's why it it give you that error okay now after all search result have passed through the external search command script splunk d closes the standard input pipe to terminate the process as 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 usual okay so so hopefully we'll get a fair idea about different categories of command available in splunk 
how internal processing works about them okay and how custom command processing also works okay so now in next video we will talk about how to create custom command in splunk sdk in python okay see you in next video